lecture we are going to discuss about the area velocity relation in compressible form. Uh, we know that what the type of the nozzle, shape of the nozzle we require, or uh, what is the type of the shape of the diffuser we require, all depends upon this equation. So uh, we have to look for how to derive that equation. So for first we have to consider the mass flow rate is a constant. It's the first fundamental equation of a compressible flow of a liquid or uh, compressible flow of fluid. Here this is the mass flow rate equation. We know it is constant. So take the logarithm of uh, mass flow rate or rho a b where rho is the density, a is the area, u is the velocity. Uh, we can simply represent a is the here a here a or the rho is the density of the fluid and logarithm of rho a b is a constant and uh, by taking the differentiation where you can see that d rho by rho or uh, differentiation of logarithm is 1 by rho into d rho and log, log of a is equal to 1 by a into d a log u is equal to 1 by u d u is equal to 0 where log of the uh, derivative of constant is equal to 0 and this is the first equation we require and here you can see that we need the uh, relationship between area and velocity and area term is here and velocity term is here. So we have to convert this term d rho by rho into any of these terms da by a or du by u. So for that we have to consider this equation. This is a momentum equation. Momentum. Or it is a second fundamental equation for the compressive flow of fluid. Here you can see P1 is equal to rho 1, U1 uh, whole square is equal to constant. But P1 is the pressure and rho 1 is the uh, density and U1 is the velocity. And by taking the differentiation, D rho is equal to rho U du is equal to 0. But uh, the uh, derivative constant is equal to 0. Here you can see that you, you cannot take 2 rho U rho U du because rho u is a constant so first we have to take rho u outside of the this equation so rho u and uh, the remaining is u so differentiate u so rho u du is equal to 0 and dp is equal to by taking this term to this side minus rho u du and uh, by div uh, dividing with the d rho we know a term dp by d rho so uh, because we know dp by d rho is equal to the uh, square term of the acoustic velocity. So we have to convert this dp into dp by d rho. So divide it with d rho and dp by d rho is equal to minus rho divided by d rho into u d u. And dp by d rho is equal to square term of acoustic velocity that is a square is equal to minus rho by d rho into u d u. And by taking this term, this is the term we require. You can see from here, this is the term we require. By taking this term, this uh, left side, d rho by rho is equal to minus u by a square into du. And we know that the, uh, the, uh, the ratio between the velocity and uh, velocity, acoustic velocity is equal to Mach number. Or u by a is equal to Mach number. We know this relation. So, uh, multiply u in the uh, numerator and denominator. So, u square by a square is equal to du by u. So, from here, d rho by rho is equal to minus u square by a square into du by u is equal to, where u by a is equal to m. So, u square by a square is equal to minus m square du by u. So, take this relation as d rho by rho is equal to minus m square du by u. So by taking this relation to our uh, first equation, where minus m square du by u plus da by a is equal to du by u is equal to 0. So by taking the common term du by u outside, where du by u is equal to 1 minus m square plus da by a is equal to 0, and the final equation is da by a or the uh, ratio between the differential term of area divided by total area is equal to differential term of velocity divided by total velocity into a 
term which includes Mach number or the which represent the velocity of the uh, fluid m square minus 1 so by analyzing this we can we know that uh, which type of nozzle we must consider in our uh, process so here you can see that this is a supersonic condition where m is greater than 1 where Mach number is greater than 1 this is a supersonic condition and we know that in a supersonic condition uh, nozzle is for increasing the velocity or increasing du nozzle is used for increasing du and diffuser is used for uh, decreasing du uh, or velocity decreasing the velocity and nozzle du term is greater than zero and m is greater than one for supersonic so these two terms are positive so da must be positive so the shape of the nozzle must be increasing like you can see that uh, area is increasing this must be the shape of nozzle and here subsonic you can see m is less than one and du is greater than one for nozzle du is greater than one and by comparing this equation where du is less than zero and uh, m is less than one or du greater than zero this must term must be negative so da is negative so area will be decreasing you can see that like this and for diffuser similarly uh, velocity must be less than zero or velocity must be decreasing or du term is less than zero or da term will be less than zero so the shape of the supersonic diffuser is like this uh, da is less than zero Like this. D is decreasing for area A1 and A2, but area is decreasing. You can see that A2 is less than A1, that's why DA is less than zero. Similarly, in a condition for uh, subsonic diffuser where D is less than zero, by comparing this equation, D is less than zero and M is less than zero. So DA must be positive. This negative term and this negative term, DA must be positive. So condition for this will be increasing. A1, A2, where A1 is less than A2. You can see that. Thank you.